Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss one more topic in automata theory that is the conversion of NFA to DFA. So uh, in the differences between the NFA and DFA, we have studied one point that is practical implementation is not possible for NFA. So if you want to go with the practical, then we have to convert the NFA to DFA. So for that purpose, consider the NFA and we have to convert it to a DFA. So here we, we can see this is the NFA because so for Q0, the state Q0, there is a transition on input 0, it's a two parts. That is the self transition is there and the, for the same input, it may change its state to Q1. So that implies it is an NFA, right? So how to convert this NFA to DFA? The first one is find out the transition of initial state. So this is the initial state. So forget about all other states. Just uh, first find out the initial state. We know the initial state as Q0 and start finding the transition for Q0 over 0 and 1. So that we'll get the next states. Okay. So let us take the Q0 on 0. What is, it? What is the state? So Q0 on 0, it will move towards, see, Q0 on 0, the self as well as Q1, right? So this is the transition, okay, of Q0 to our 0. So consider this as a another state, okay? Consider this as a another state. So again, we have to find out the transition for input symbol 1 also. So we know that uh, in, in DFA, the, every state should have a transition over every input symbol of the alphabet. So here the alphabet is 0 and 1. So for every state, there should be a transition for 0 and 1. So first, I am taking the Q0 as initial state and I am finding the transition of Q0 over 0 and 1. So Q0 on 0 is completed and now I am finding out Q0 on 1. So what happens if the state with the input symbol 1? So Q0 will change it to Q1. So this is a one more state. This is one more state. Right? So don't forget about this one. So now we are having a two more states. We are having two more states. Okay. See, I will write here the transition table. So I am starting just with the initial state Q0. Forget about all other states here, right? Just as Q0 on 0. It is Q0 and Q1. And Q0 on 1, it is Q1. Right? We need to find the transition for each and every states. Now you can find the states of Q0, Q1, Q1, right? Both are there. First, let us find out this one, Q0, Q1. So delta of Q0, sorry, see, Q0, Q1 over 0. So you can simply write it here, uh, delta of Q0 on 0 union delta of Q0, sorry, Q1 on 0. So we are just expanding this one, Q0, Q1 over 0. We are writing just a delta of Q0 with 0, union delta of Q1 on the 0. So here you can write Q0 on 0, Q0 on 0, you can simply use the same thing Q0, Q1 and union Q1 on 0. What about the Q1 on 0 according to this given NFA, there is no uh, transition. So simply use a file. Simply use a file. So what is the result? It is Q0, Q1. Q0, Q1. So our next state is Q0, Q1. And you can observe here Q0, Q1 on 0, the same. So that means it's a self. So Q0, Q1. Okay. Again, we have to find the transition for Q0, Q1 with input symbol 1. Because for every state, there should be a transition for every input symbol. So same, use the same thing, expand this one. So Q0 on 1 union delta of Q1 on 1. So here if you see delta of Q0 on 1. So Q0 on 1, it moves to Q1. So it moves to Q1 union. So Q1 on 1. Q1 on 1, it moves to Q0 and 1. So, so Q0, Q1. So if you apply the union, it will be Q0, comma Q1. So again, if you consider the state Q0, Q1 over the 1, 
the resultant will be q0 q1 so again it is having a self transition again it will have a self transition so let us check if it is completed or not so we are having the state q0 so q0 over 0 it moves to another state which is q0 q1 and it, over 1 it moves to another state q1 so we are finding the transitions for 0 and 1 for this state and now we have to find out the transition for this state q1 so there is no transition for q1 right now you have to find out for q1 so q1 see now Uh, apply the same thing so find out the transition for, for uh, q1 around along with the 0 and 1 so we know that this q1 is a final state because here from this diagram you can see it is a final state it is a final state so we need to represent the final state in the transition table uh, with a star okay with a star now delta of q1 on 0 delta of q1 on 0 because here we need to find q1 on 0 so is there any transition for q1 over 0 no so automatically it is a 5 so here 5 we can represent it as a dead state right and delta of q1 on 1 q1 on 1 q1 on 1 again it moves to q0 and q1 so you can observe here q0 on 1 q1 on 1 it moves to q0 and there is a cell so this is a state and here you can observe so is there any new state appeared here yes so phi is a new state phi is a new state so that we call it as a automatically we call this phi as a dead state so we need to find the transition for dead state also over 0 and over 1 so there is no transition so the resultant will be phi so you can have the transition uh, table for the DFA right now draw the DFA according to this transition table okay so hope you understood the procedure so start with the Q0 so Q0 is an initial state and Q0 over 0 it moves to Q0 comma Q1 Q0 comma Q1 you can consider this as a single state and see over 0 and over 1 it is a Q1 over 1 it is a Q1 and q0 q1 state on 0 q0 q1 on 1 q0 q0 q1 so over 0 and 1 it will remains in the same q1 on 0 it goes to phi so we can represent it as a q5 which is nothing but a dead state okay 0 and q1 on 1 it moves to q0 q1 see 1 right and phi it remains in the same state for 0 and 1 you can observe this is the equivalent DFA for the given NFA because here you can find for every state there should be a transition over both the input symbols so Q0 on 0 there is a 1 transition Q0 on 1 there is a 1 transition Q0 Q1 is one state which is having the transition for both 0 and 1 and if you consider Q1 Q1 is having the transition over 1 and over 0 and Q5 is a dead state dead state so we have discussed in the dfa so if it is a dfa there might be a chance of getting a dead state right so dead state is a state where the process will remains uh, either for zero or a one right either or the input symbol any input symbol it will remains in the same state right it doesn't move to the other state so even the dead state is also having the transition over zero and one so this is the equivalent dfa for the given nfa right so hope you understood first start with the initial state so initial state will be same so from the initial state find out the transitions over both the input symbols so and find out uh, whether the new states appear and if the new states appear here we are getting the new states q0 q1 and q1 and find out the transitions for both the states over both the input symbols 0 and 1 and repeat the same process until it doesn't uh, get any new state okay and now the question is the final thing is what is the final state so here the final state is q1 and simply in which state the q1 appears every state will be becomes a final state so in this diagram you can see q1 is here so this is a final state and here also there is a q1 so this will also becomes the final state so final state is equal to so q1 comma q0 
phi 1 right so these are the final states and initial state will be same q not initial state will be same it's a q not so hope you understood the procedure and let us see one more example for this one see uh, we'll see one more example so this is also nfa you can see q not on zero there is two paths one is on q not and q1 and there is no transition for q not with one right so now we'll see how can we convert this nfa to dfa so start with the initial state so initial state is q not find out the transition for q not over zero so q not over zero the states it moves to q not and q1 and again q not with a one so q not on one there is no state so we'll give the five so just uh, construct the table so start with the q not because it is the initial state so with the initial state we are getting the one more state q not q1 and a five q not q1 and a five now what we have to do so again we are having the new state so for this state we have to find out the transition for 0 and 1 so delta of q not q1 over 0 is delta of q not 0 union delta of q1 0 so which is nothing but q not 0 it is q not 0 means q not comma q1 union union q1 on 0 so there is no transition for q1 on 0 so it will be the same state q0 q1 so you can simply we are finding the transitions for a new state for q0 q1 so q0 q1 over 0 it remains in the same state so again we will get the same thing now find out the q0 q1 state over the transition 1 so delta of q0 q1 over transition 1 so again expand this one q not on 1 union delta of q1 on 1 so q not on 1 there is no transition so 5 union q1 on 1 so it moves to q1 and q2 it moves to q1 q2 so simply the result will be q1 q2 so the transition of q not q1 over 1 will goes to q1 q2 so simply here we are getting q1 q2 so find out so here uh, find out whether there is a new state appears or not so yes there is a new state called q1 q2 now again find the transitions for q1 q2 so q1 q2 q1 and q2 now find the same procedure follow the same procedure to finding the transition of q1 q2 over 0 and 1 q0 sorry q1 and q2 the q1 q2 over 0 so delta of q1 of 0 union delta of q2 of 0 so what happens q1 on 0 q1 on 0 there is no transition here union q2 on 0 q2 on 0 it moves to q0 so the result will be q0 so already q0 is there so you can simply write it as a q0 and again delta of q1 comma q2 over 1 delta of q1 comma 1 union delta of q2 comma 1 so q1 on 1 q1 on 1 again it moves to q1 q2 q1 q2 see here q1 on 1 moves to q1 q2 union q2 on 1 there is no transition so fine so the result will be q1 comma q2 so q1 q2 over 1 it moves to q1 q2 so that means it will remain in the same state q1 q2 so now observe, observe the transition table whether the new state appears or not so there is no new state but we have need to find the transitions for phi phi is a dead state right so phi so we know that phi means there is no transition so automatically phi on 0 it will be phi and phi on 1 it will be phi now it's a complete transition table you can find it there is no new state for every state we have we have find the transition over the input symbol 0 and 1 now draw the diagram based upon this transition table based upon this transition table so start with the q0 because q0 is the initial state so start with the q0 and 
see q naught itself is also a dead state i, I mean sorry yeah, the final state okay q naught on zero it moves to q naught and q1 q naught and q1 and q naught on q1 moves on zero so it is zero and uh, let us take here the q5 which is a dead state on one okay q naught on one now q naught q1 on zero it will remain in the same state it will remain in the same state and upon one it moves to another state so which is q1 q2 which is q1 and q2 right so transition one now again from q1 q2 upon zero it moves to q naught it moves to q naught one it remains in the same state one in the remains in the same state and phi upon zero and one it really remains in the same state right okay. okay now you can check whether uh, it is a complete dfa or not complete dfa means every state should have a transition over every input symbol here the input symbols are zero and one for every state there should be a transition for zero and one so q naught there is a transition for zero and one q naught q1 there is a transition over zero and one q1 q2 there is a transition over zero and one dead state so this is a dead state right this is a dead state so dead state q5 is also having a transition over zero and one now find out the final state here the final state is q naught so in this states wherever you are finding the q naught it will be the final state so here we are finding here so this will be the final state and here also there is a q naught so this will also be the final state this will also be the final state right so this is the equivalent dfa for the given nfa okay this is a equivalent dfa for the given nfa right so for the i mean follow this procedure to find the dfa for nfa so first we need to start with the initial state and for the initial state find out the transition over the input symbol so that uh, identify the if there are any uh, new states appear and if the if the new states appear and again follow the same procedure find out the transition for that particular new state over 0 and 1 and repeat the same process until the new state doesn't appear right so this is a complete transition table and this is a equivalent uh, dfa for the given nfa so hope you understood this procedure and if you are having any doubt regarding this procedure feel free to post your doubts in the comment section uh, definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.